not even real tired. But no, I still force myself to record a Eureka video. That thing seriously sounds like it's about to blow up. Oh my god, what happened over here? Yeah, I'm sorry, I, I can't clean out this basement. Okay, just making sure there wasn't any toilet paper in there. What did I just step on? Why is there a screwdriver on the floor? That's dangerous. Did the sharp fix itself? Turn on. Yes, it did fix itself, as you could see. <laughs> this TV is so weird, I don't know. It's all so freezing in here. So, in the last video, you may know... Um, Eureka's DVD player, there it is, completely toast. This hunk of metal, this is the only thing that's left of it. I need this cord, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna cut this cord off because I need it. As you can see, this is the entire thing. It's toasted. So trying to get this motherboard out. I already took the fuse out of it, as you could see. Um, I want to keep this this motherboard right here because it's got a whole bunch of Orion processors in it. Those look like some memory chips or something like that. Yeah. Oh, that's power. Oh, yep. It's not lying. That's definitely power. That cord right there. Oh, great. Here we go again. This is going to have to come out. This is also getting kept. Because it's not broken. It's just missing a CD tray. Ew, this thing smells bad. Oh, my God. Come on, stupid cord. This is one thing I hate about these ribbon cords. They're always so annoying to pull out. I guess it's stuck there. This is coming out. Where did I... thought I saw a screwdriver right here. Now that screwdriver is gone. Oh, there it is. How did I not see that? I don't know. Anyways, this is coming out. And then I'm just gonna recycle this metal. Get this CD tray out of here. What happened? Oh, it's still in. Huh. It's kind of weird. There we go. Thank you very much. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this thing as, with care. I'm definitely gonna use it with care. All right. Stupid hunk of metal. All right, let's pull this thing out. Gonna blow up. 
break. And it is gonna break. Look what they look what this Toshiba has done. They put these annoying cords in here. So it's harder to take it apart. And they squeezed it together so it gets even more annoying. Or look look at all these wasted cords over here. What, what is this stuff? Who else is There's another cord? Oh my god, the stupid ground cable. You know what? This thing doesn't even have a ground cord at the end of it. So we don't need a ground cable in here either. Now pull this thing out. That can go right there. Time to get this nice motherboard out of here. Some screws. Make sure you don't break it because you don't have to. It's not worth breaking it. All right. I don't know how much time I have left, but I'm pretty sure I still have time. At least I hope I do. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. There's like a thousand more on the back. Sorry, guys, but this camera's view is going to have to be horrible. Or, you know what? Just have it like that. Sorry, but I can't get this thing out any other way. I mean, I can force it out, but I don't want to force it out. This thing has been featured in way too much videos. It's been featured in a CRT testing video. It's been featured in maybe like 50 Eureka videos already. It's time to upgrade this. Now see this annoying LCD right here. How did I even put this thing in here? Okay, make sure nothing is burnt. Nothing is burnt, so this is a keep. Wait, does it have any Toshiba branding on it? No, it does not. So this is definitely a keep. That's not a keep. And this metal is going to have to get recycled. Oh, also, for those people that need the model numbers and stuff. Oh, there it is. I hate metal. Exactly why I hate metal. Oh, I should leave it out for those trash picker guys. The ones that make free money by collecting metal. Yeah, that's what I'm probably going to do. Instead of wasting metal. These screws are going in the garbage can. See, this is why I don't care to collect screws. I'm just going to have to go get some pliers and cut that off. Hmm. That copper does look a bit nice. Nope, just that. And that, this is going in the garbage. Uh, motherboards are garbage, right? Or are they recycling? I don't know. I never threw away a motherboard before. 
because I usually keep them. Duh. All right, but this cord is definitely coming off of it. Also, I'm going to do this right now. Oh, my God. It won't come out, huh? It's not coming out. Oh. That thing sounds like it's about to blow up. Yo, chill. Chill, you sound like you're gonna blow up. This thing's gotta chill. It's gonna blow up. And I do not like the way it says made in China on the side of it. That motherboard goes in very nicely with this carpet. I'm not even gonna bother stepping on it. It's not, it does not feel good to step on a motherboard with bare feet. Trust me. And don't try it yourself. Because then you're going to have the same problem when I was like, when I first seen a TV motherboard or something. Do not try it. Trust me. It does not feel good. It feels the exact same. Um, and, and if it's plugged in, it's going to be even worse. You see all those transistors? Yeah, if you step on them, it's not going to feel way too good. But anyways, I'm going to go get this get this copper cord off of it and that metal and this is going in the garbage so yeah see you guys later bye hopefully that air conditioner doesn't blow up